100 years ago, we thought there was only one galaxy. Now, the number is unlimited. Webb is now identifying objects from the universe's so-called dark ages that appear, by our best measurements, to be large, fully developed galaxies. And that raises a stunning question. How did these get here so quickly? What we're actually trying to find out is the entire history of the universe from then till now, from the beginning till now, including the things that made galaxies and stars and planets and Earth. Webb is delivering this revolutionary data in a fraction of the time it once took. And it's becoming increasingly clear that many of the records we've relied on to describe the modern universe are about to be shattered. If you could stand in this room right now, surrounded by astrophysicists and cosmologists who truly grasp the impact of these findings, you would feel just how dramatically our view of the cosmos is changing. The universe has always been full of mysteries, but none are more captivating than those hidden in its earliest chapters. How did the first galaxies form? How did they evolve? And what can they tell us about the origin and ultimate fate of everything we know? These are the questions the James Webb Space Telescope was built to answer as it peers into the deepest, darkest regions of space. And what it has uncovered is astonishing. Webb has identified around 10 galaxies that may be older than the universe should theoretically allow. Most of us remember June 2022, when Webb released its first deep field image, a breathtaking long exposure view of a tiny patch of sky that revealed the faintest and most distant galaxies ever observed. From that moment, galaxies began emerging from the shadows of time itself. Now, Webb has found roughly 10 more systems that could be even older than the famous Max galaxy. How could such ancient structures have formed so early? How did they survive in the hostile conditions of the young universe? And what do they reveal about the true story of cosmic history? These galaxies appear to originate from what scientists call the universe's Dark Ages, the era when the very first stars and galaxies condensed out of primordial gas. Their existence has challenged current models of cosmic evolution and cast doubt on long-standing scientific assumptions. And it wasn't just a handful. Webb has uncovered hundreds of such galaxies, each carrying its own hidden chapter of the universe's story. One of the most remarkable of these galaxies was discovered by Austin-based astronomer Stephen Finkelstein. He named it Macy's Galaxy, dedicating it to his daughter after the team spotted it on her birthday. At first, Finkelstein and his colleagues believed the galaxy had formed almost immediately after the Big Bang in cosmic terms. Their initial estimate placed its birth at just 290 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy ever observed at the time. But more detailed follow-up studies using advanced instruments revealed something even more astonishing. The galaxy was about 100 million years older than first thought. Considering that the universe itself is approximately 13.77 billion years old, this means Macy's galaxy formed only about 190 million years after the Big Bang, when the cosmos was still incredibly young, hot, and chaotic. Macy's galaxy still holds the record as the oldest known galaxy, though it may not be unique. This raises a powerful question. How do astronomers determine the ages of such ancient systems, and why do these discoveries pose such a challenge to our existing theories of cosmic evolution? To answer that, we need to understand what makes the James Webb Space Telescope so different from its predecessors, such as Hubble. Webb is a true marvel of modern engineering. Its massive 6.5-meter primary mirror collects more light than any space telescope before it, and its four scientific instruments are specially designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths. Webb orbits at a unique location known as the second Lagrange point, or L2, where it moves in harmony with Earth while remaining shielded from atmospheric distortion and heat. Its infrared vision is especially critical for studying the earliest galaxies. Because these galaxies are so distant, the expansion of the universe stretches their light into longer, redder wavelengths, a phenomenon known as redshift. The greater the redshift, the farther away, and therefore older the object is. Webb measures this redshift using a technique called photometry, which analyzes how bright an object appears through a set of broad wavelength filters, allowing scientists to estimate just how far back in time they are seeing. 
By comparing how bright these galaxies appear through different filters, Webb can estimate both their redshift and their age. These measurements have revealed something extraordinary. Some of the galaxies detected by Webb are even older than Macy's galaxy. In fact, several appear to have formed when the universe was only a few hundred million years old, just moments after the Big Bang in cosmic terms. As Fabio Pacucci of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics explains, we are now witnessing massive galaxies forming far more rapidly than anyone previously expected. This is astonishing, because it implies that these enormous systems took shape while the universe was still extremely hot and dense, during the very first era when stars and galaxies were beginning to illuminate the cosmos. Even more surprising, these galaxies contain billions of solar masses comparable to the Milky Way, yet they are compressed into regions up to 30 times smaller. Some of the earliest examples belong to a class of galaxies identified by researchers at Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. Their team discovered galaxies with masses similar to the Milky Way, dating back to just 750 million years after the Big Bang. These systems are between 10 and 100 times more massive than any galaxies previously observed from that era, and yet they are confined to remarkably compact structures. What makes this even more puzzling is that these galaxies appear to host far more stars than current theories would allow. In doing so, they challenge the very foundation of how scientists believe massive cosmic structures form over time. According to the standard cosmological model, galaxies grow within vast halos of dark matter, a mysterious substance that dominates the universe's mass but does not emit or absorb light. These halos attract normal matter and gas, creating the conditions needed for stars and galaxies to form. Early galaxies are thought to begin in small halos, gradually merging and evolving into larger systems over billions of years. This process predicts that early galaxies should be smaller and dimmer, becoming larger and brighter as the universe ages. Not only did the Webb team uncover increasingly distant G galaxies, the brightest and most massive galaxies in the early universe, but they also detected galaxies comparable to the Milky Way at the very edge of the cosmos, structures that, according to current physics, should not even exist. These discoveries highlight the incredible diversity and complexity of the young universe, when it was only a small fraction of its current age. Many of the galaxies Webb observed were rich in glowing gas, so luminous that the gas itself could outshine the stars within them. This intense glow indicates that these galaxies were experiencing vigorous star formation, rapidly converting primordial material into new generations of stars. In fact, observations suggest that nearly 90% of these early galaxies exhibited extreme emission features, the hallmark of glowing, gas-rich infant galaxies that dominated the universe when it was only about 2 billion years old. Amid these gassy galaxies, one stood out, a galaxy astonishingly similar to our own Milky Way. Remarkably, when the universe was just 2 billion years old, the spiral galaxy Ceres 2112 already displayed a central bar of stars and gas cutting across its core. This is surprising, because galactic bars are typically considered a sign of maturity and stability, funneling gas into the center to trigger bursts of star formation. Previously, astronomers assumed that barred structures appeared only in older galaxies, those that had reached advanced stages of evolution. Hubble observations suggested barred galaxies were rare in the early universe, but Webb is rewriting that story. The discovery of Ceres 2112 shows that galaxies resembling our own existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was only 15% of its current age. Observed at a redshift of 3, its light has traveled more than 12 billion years to reach us. This challenges the standard cosmological model, which predicts that the early universe's conditions should have prevented such well-formed barred spiral galaxies from existing so soon. Even sophisticated cosmological simulations struggle to reproduce these systems at such early epochs. Moreover, dark matter believed to comprise roughly 85% of all matter in the universe has long been considered essential in shaping galaxies. Because it does not interact with light, dark matter is invisible, 
yet its gravitational influence is thought to guide the formation and evolution of galaxies from as early as 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The discovery of galaxies like Ceres 2112 forces scientists to rethink exactly how dark matter and ordinary matter collaborated to create complex structures so quickly in the early cosmos. A groundbreaking discovery by the Webb team has revealed that, at least in the case of Ceres 2112, galaxy evolution was dominated by ordinary matter rather than dark matter when the universe was about 2 billion years old. Ceres 2112, a spiral galaxy remarkably similar to our Milky Way, was spotted at the very edge of the cosmos by Webb. What makes this galaxy so extraordinary is not just its shape and structure, but also its composition. New findings show that Ceres 2112 is primarily made of baryons, the ordinary matter that makes up everything we see, including stars, planets, and people, rather than dark matter, which dominates the universe in abundance. This is a surprising and important revelation because it challenges long-held assumptions about how galaxies form and evolve in the early universe. It suggests that factors beyond dark matter, such as gas dynamics, star formation, and feedback processes may play a major role in shaping galaxies. The discovery also raises intriguing questions. How common are galaxies like Ceres 2112 in the distant universe? And what implications do they have for our cosmological models? This finding is just one of the many breakthroughs Webb has achieved since its launch, leaving astronomers both amazed and excited about the telescope's ongoing contributions. Looking ahead, scientists believe that Webb could soon help solve the mysteries at the heart of our own Milky Way. Since the first observations of the galaxy's sparkling spiral arms, astronomers have wondered what drives the evolution of these massive, star-filled structures. Presumably, the same processes shaping the Milky Way are at work across the universe, giving rise to the astonishing diversity of galaxies we see an estimated 2 trillion galaxies, each with unique sizes, shapes, and compositions. The Milky Way's galactic center is especially valuable because it is the only core where individual stars can be observed in detail. By studying our own galaxy, we gain insights into the life cycles and evolution of countless other galaxies throughout the cosmos.